Hi friends, this is the Ray Thai Old Monk and today we are with the OnePlus 7 Pro. In this video, we will talk about the hidden features, some of the tips and tricks and also have a detailed overview of the device. Now talking about the device here, you can see it has a pop-up camera, it has a triple rear camera setup at the back, it has a glass at the back and in the front at the same time. It looks pretty gorgeous. This is the Nebula blue color and talking about the device, uh, it is a little bit bulky, it is a little bit bigger, it has a 6.67 inch display, it has a pop-up camera which we have talked earlier also, but overall the device looks pretty good and the pop-up camera works very well. We will talk about each and everything in detail in this video. The OnePlus from the back OnePlus 7 Pro has a triple camera which differentiates from the OnePlus 7. It has a triple camera with LED flash, the OnePlus logo and the bottom side also OnePlus is written. There is a gla glass finish in the back. Here you can see it looks pretty gorgeous. It is having a gradient kind of feel. This is called the Nebula blue color. This is coming with the 12 GB of RAM, 256 GB of internal storage. The back I will definitely recommend you to use any back cover or case because it is definitely slippery and not recommend to use normally. Now talking about the front camera, it has a motorized pop-up camera which is a 16 megapixel camera having aperture of f2.0 and it comes with the 25mm wide display. So uh, there is the camera, we will talk about the camera later on the camera if you are getting the pop-up camera it means that you will get the full view display now talking about the full view display here it comes with the fluid amulet display with 90 hertz refresh rate now what is 90 hertz refresh rate we will talk about later on it has 16 million colors in it and definitely it is a gorgeous device from in the perspective of display here we are also getting the in display fingerprint sensor which is fast compared to the previous generation now talking about the device charging it comes with the fourth thousand milliampere battery and it has a warp charging and the charger what we are getting in the box is a 30 watt uh, uh, rating charger so definitely this is a fast charging device and uh, trust me guys it runs a complete day entire day because the device comes with the 4000 milliampere battery and warp charging is a fast charging but one more thing i have told you 90 hertz display now what it comes uh, because uh, if you use OnePlus, you know that they will give you the most customization you can use in the screen here. You can see there is a 90 hertz and 60 hertz refresh rate which you can change. 90 hertz definitely it will look more cinematic. You can also switch the resolution from QHD plus to Full HD plus or you have auto switch. So this is one thing where you can save the battery also if you have your battery is draining or you have a very less battery switch it from QSD to FSD plus. Battery saving definitely there is theme you can change from light, dark or colorful. I will prefer dark always because it definitely gives you a more extra battery and saves the battery here. One more thing you can change the accent color you can change to blue, red whatever you want. Currently I am putting into a red color accent because it looks good with the black and red combination. You can change the font, you can change the display size and also the sleep time. There is a night mode. Night mode will not on when you are already in the dark thing. There is an adaptive brightness which you can switch it on or off. The device comes with Android 9.0 Android Pi and it is also running on Oxygen OS 9.51 top of it. So, uh, we have a fanatic mode which will block the, all the notifications and calls from the background. It will also stop the background running apps. It will also check uh, the secondary sim do not enhance the network. At the same time in fanatic mode we are getting the CPU optimization, GPU optimization. These are the few features which you are getting. You can cho choose and change them also. In the settings if you go there is a haptic feedback change. If you go to the more settings. Once you go into the more settings, what you will see, you can add the another games also in the device. You can answer calls via speaker, how to show notification, it is there. Disable the automatic brightness, you can change the notification of the third party app. You can also add more apps in the list. So like I'm just adding the Call of Duty as part. So this game will include the fanatic mode. You can change them, you can remove them. There is also coming with the game display enhancement. This will enhance your game experience. Now, 
how does the notification will show you you can change those also you can put up heads up text or only in the upside so this is up to you completely customization is there for the fanatic mode while playing the game in the device there is small thing which you will not notice it is the front camera so the when the motorized pop-up camera pops up there is a small led notification is also coming so this is one there is another led notification when your device in this in the sleeping mode so you can see it is kind of a breathing kind of notification on the sideways of the device in the device you will find the notification the customization and their animation is done very good for the like the aeroplane mode here you can see a small animation and detailing is given here there is the gaming mode reading mode now there is a zen mode what the zen mode does it actually makes your phone down you can't do anything in it everything is written here you can check that so here it tells that it will start in some time now now i i tried to do anything in the device i can't call anyone i can't go and play any game you can take any but you can definitely use the camera there is a camera logo which you can go and take the pictures it will be safe but nothing else you can do in the device you can't check the gallery so this is one thing that you want to detox from your device so you can use it you can change it into vibrate ring or other mode but after zen mode here you can see we have done it for few minutes and it tells you that how much week you want to schedule it you want to detox from your device you can do that very easily so this is what it is the zen mode this is the first time what you are getting in the device you just want to detox you can use the zen mode and you can come here and see there is nothing that you can disable that but if you have started it you have to go through that process now we'll do the screen recording so it is also one more easy thing you just have to go to the notification here you can see it is saying that screen recording is going on and here the small icon will come where you can cross then it will exit the screen recording you again have to start you have to go to the notification you have the screen recording feature if you go there is one button red button which will go to start or stop now talking about the settings here is the bitrate resolution what you want you want the audio to record internal or external it can be done very easily even the resolution can be changed of the screen now uh, here you can see i will just switch on the recording here the timer has also start there is start and a pause option both running at the same time so once i started the game i can pause it whenever i want and i can record the video or the audio or the on thing screen going thing so this is a cool feature which definitely every phone doesn't have it right now but it can be seen in the next generation all the smartphone because android q is being teasing this they have they will have the screen recording so here you can see the file has been saved and once i play the file it will show what whatever i have done on the screen it will do exactly the same even the rotation has been done the video you can see the rotation is there once i start exiting it will exit from there so this is what we are getting in the screen recording mode now coming to one more thing which is the button and gesture so what we are getting we have alert slider the alert slider is silent vibration and ring in the silent also you can see which one to silent the alarms or the media in vibration what will the silent in the alarm will not and in the ring so it is in the given the alert slider is given the sideways of the right side and it is very easier so in the top it is the silent mode then the vibrate mode and in the bottom is the ring mode now coming to the navigation and gesture here we have the normal navigation gesture i prefer the gesture feature not the home screen or the navigation bar in the bottom because it takes it ups the screen and the screen gives a less space so the gesture feature is much more easier here you can see i'm just trying to pull out it so if you press swipe from the middle and center stage it will go to the home if you swipe for long time and press it and then leave it then it will go to the recent tab if you swipe from the right side it will go to the back if you swipe and switch it uh, from the middle it will switch to the um, uh, other apps here you can switch them now there is also in the landscape mode it will work uh, one more feature if you uh, press uh, the home screen for a long time there is a shelf given in the menu you can switch it off what is the shelf i will tell you once more so once I, again i am just pressing a long hold on the home button and if you swipe this is the shelf is given where some apps are given some recent things which you can put it down notepad but i definitely don't like the shelf you can remove that now going to the settings there is one more thing 
if you go to the security and uh, lock screen feature there is a fingerprint option you go inside it uh, put the pattern and after that there is an animation there is a cosmos animation ripple animation stripe animation none so there are uh, actually four kind of animation present in the device whatever you like it is up to you so the cosmos is the by default given one there is also ripple stripe and none now jumping to the battery the device comes with a 4000 milliampere battery now i will recommend you to use the adaptive battery why it will limit the battery for the apps which are not using in the background so this is a cool feature this would uh, experience of the battery will be much more better than the normal user the oneplus 7 pro the biggest highlight is the display it is a fluid amoled capacitive touch screen display coming with 16 million colors the size of the display is 6.67 inch which is 88 is to 1 as uh, screen to body ratio now talking about the resolution it is 1440 is to 3120 pixels and coming to the device it has a corning gorilla glass 5 in the front it is running with the gpu of 640 now once we are coming to the gpu we will also talk about the cpu the device is coming on the cpu snapdragon 855 which is the top line of the chipset it is a octa core processor in the device we have tried and played all the major four games including the pubg asphalt and there is also call of duty a small demo we have done and uh, lastly but not the least there is a fortnite so these four games we have tried and tested in oneplus and it works very smoothly there is no hiccup there is no lag reminding you one more thing the device what we have is the 12 gb ram and 256 internal storage so definitely this is the top of the line it has the best uh, of the storage maximum storage what you can have and the top ram which is a 12 gb of ram now coming to the asphalt 9 this is the gameplay of asphalt 9 i'm just putting a demo gameplay uh, i want to show you the graphic support and the visualization one thing i have already forgot to tell you it is that the device comes with the dolby atmos you can check the video we have done the gaming of call of duty in that you can see how the audio quality is definitely the audio experience is very good unfortunately the device doesn't have a 3.5 mm port so the earphones can be put down through the usb type c port or you can use the bluetooth wireless earphone so this is the option what you are getting but using the dolby atmos the viewing experience is definitely enhanced because the audio experience is and twice what you get in the normal uh, speakers here i have tried and played in the call of duty and the call of duty this one is the beta version definitely now the developers have stopped that you can't play that uh, game which is very unfortunate but i'm hoping that it will be soon publicly launched and call of duty is a game where you are doing a first person shooter game the experience is very good we have tried this game and have done the demo in oneplus 7 pro i will put the link in the description section if you want to check it out you can check the gameplay but we are just hoping that the game soon comes to the public so that everyone what whom you are watching right now can play the game now coming to one more game which is the fortnite i have tried and tested the fortnite fortnite also is compatible in oneplus 7 pro so the gaming experience complete uh, complete share it has a good video experience and also the gaming experience at the same time it has a audio which is a dolby atmos audio it will give the enhance your audio experience compared to any phones in the market right now and the this is definitely a flagship smartphone so you can't compare with the normal entry level or mid tier smartphone camera company's first smartphone oneplus has the triple layer camera setup where the primary is a 48 megapixel camera which is having f1.6 having a ois also the secondary camera is the 8 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom and the ois the third camera is the one coming with the 16 megapixel camera with the aperture of f2.2 which is a ultra wide camera So this is the three camera setup what you are getting with the device. Talking about the front camera, the front camera we are getting is the 16 megapixel front camera coming with the aperture of f2.0, and it has a auto HDR in the front. It comes with the video recording of 1080 with 30 fps, which is the maximum. It has a EIS in the front, not the OIS. Here you can see the pop up time is very less, and it works very smoothly. in the oneplus 7 pro coming to the camera the company has already touted that if the device is free falling it will switch off the camera and it will tell you the message that it was free falling 
and it works well we have tried it on bed definitely not on the hard surface so the settings we will start with the customized mode in the customized mode by default we are getting the video photo portrait and pro mode there is a nightscape mode there is a time lapse there is slow motion and panorama these are the modes you are getting you can switch the modes into top to bottom you can change the sequence of them coming to more thing it is uh, the ultra wide lens correction is given in the device there is smart connect detection so what it does it will detect the emails phone numbers name card qr code and the website address from your camera preview and check that that what it goes through which uh, site or portal it is opening so right now i'm trying and testing with the qr code it works smoothly definitely it is a easy thing to do around now this is what we are getting in the settings and few more features it includes the manual sdr mode if you want to switch it on you can switch it on there is a shot on one plus watermark you can change that also the ultra wide lens correction will make the lens correction while you are using the ultra wide mode now you want the photo mirror photo mode or not it is up to you now what we have in the settings in the settings if we go to the pro mode in the top you are getting the jpeg mode if you, if you see there is jpeg mode 48 megapixel there is a raw mode and there is a normal jpeg mode i will recommend you to shoot the pictures in jpeg mode normal not the jpeg mode 48 megapixel because it will take more memory storage and it will be definitely a little bit problem in the pro mode you are also getting the histogram there is an alignment line while you are taking the picture so you can put the alignment there now going to the video we are getting a 4k normal mode which is a 30 fps shoot there is also 4k mode 60 fps which you can also shoot there is a full hd video you can shoot into 30 and 60 fps which is a good thing now coming to the front camera it can shoot only full hd video in 30 fps now going to the uh, here you can see the ultra wide mode the ultra wide mode can be changed and you can use into telephoto mode so you will get a zoom ring you can change it and you can play it around according to your need so this is all about the hidden feature what we found the tips and the tricks all the hacks what we got for the oneplus 7 pro this at the rate i old mom signing off please like the video share the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us